video from me today as I wanted to show you a purchase that I've made or a couple of purchases that I've made from a seller on Discogs Marketplace. Two seven inch singles. One of them will be 50 years old or getting on for 50 years old, 50 this year. And the other one will be, I think, 48 years old. Shouldn't need a slice. It's quite stiff card that they're in, this envelope. Should be relatively easy to open. Let's see what we've got. One of these cost £1.50. Cheap as chips. And the other one, even cheaper than chips, cost 50p. And I think I made offers on both of these. You can do that on Discogs Marketplace. For some things, it depends if the seller has allowed you to make offers. Right, I'll get them out one at a time, I think. First 7 inch single is Give Peace a Chance with the B-side Remember Love and this is on Apple Records from the Plastic Ono Band who are of course John Lennon and Yoko Ono and some other people. I think the Plastic Ono band was kind of Lennon's semi-official backing band throughout the late 60s and well into the 70s. Looks pretty much the same on the back. So yeah, for a 50 year old single, I was looking out for one where the picture sleeve had survived intact. This one seems to be in really good condition for its age, so very happy. I fancied getting a couple of Beatles related solo singles that I really like and Give Peace a Chance is one of them. Never owned this record before. Ah, marvellous. I do love the Apple label that you get on Apple recordings. So yeah, side A, Give Peace a Chance. Very nice condition. £1.50, absolute bargain. There's the B-side, there again. Excellent condition. My first record that I've got in my collection since I've started collecting vinyl records again, that is Apple. Although there is two. The other one only cost me 50p. And it's Ringo Starr. It Don't Come Easy, which I believe was released in 1971. And I think it was Ringo's first solo record, solo single. The B-side is Early 1970, which is a weird name for a song. I used to have this single, not the picture sleeve edition. I had one that came in the box standard Apple Records paper sleeve. And I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if I sold it on or gave it to a friend. This was back in like 1995, 96. I had a friend who was a really big Beatles fan at school. And I know I ended up swapping him some Beatles records of my dad's for some CDs. Which I kind of regret now, but there we are. And I'm trying to remember if Ringo Starr's It Don't Come Easy single was included as one of them. This is Apple Records. R5898 and yeah to say this is almost 50 years old or almost 48 years old there again I'm really happy that this picture sleeve has survived so well I will put both of these in some transparent polypropylene sleeves that I've got just to try and keep them nice for well certainly for the rest of my life and hopefully beyond i'm not sure why this was like a pound less than the other one i made an offer on it i think it was only listed at a pound and i got this for 50p there again fantastic apple label the whole granny smith i think it is on the front and then the halved granny smith on the b side Great single this, really liked it. It's nice to get this again and actually get the picture sleeve edition. I just like picture sleeves, I think they're a bit more interesting. I do like the normal paper sleeves that you can get. I don't think there's anything wrong with them. In fact, I think they're quite a nice snapshot of history, really. Jason Klo, Not Suitable For Mum, is looking at a lot of seven inch singles from this sort of era on his channel at the moment in his 33s and 45 series and the vast majority of them have got the paper sleeves but they've been kept really nice and a lot of them have got adverts for like makeup and record equipment and stuff really evokes that kind of mid to late 60s aesthetic 
you know. Two singles I really like. One of them I used to have in a slightly different format. The other one I've never owned before, but just nice to add a couple of cheap, yet fantastic condition for their age, seven inch singles to my record collection. Thank you to this Discog seller for a fantastic job looking after these records. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed this quick look at a couple of vintage 7 inch singles. Thank you to all my subscribers. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you for joining me on this journey that I'm making here on YouTube. I'm going to go now and give peace a chance or give a listen to give peace a chance and it don't come easy by Ringo of course I do hope that you all join me again for my next vinyl mail opening video cheers everyone see ya